Life on the Red Horse Ranch. When Alabam returned to the Red Horse Ranch after his trip to Danville, Dad Carter was all the more sure that Steve Bradford's story was true. Bradford had told Carter that Alabam was in a saloon, drunk, the night the rustlers made away with the Red Horse herd. There was but one thing left for Alabam and the boys to do, and that was to ride out and find the rustlers and bring the herd of Red Horse cattle back to the ranch. They haven't yet returned, as we join the folks who remain at the ranch house. Saddled, you better get Chuck ready a little early. Hear me? Yes, it. Well, I went out to the graveyard, fell down on my knees. I went out to the graveyard, fell down on my knees. I said, Listen, you miss the grave digger. Give me back my good gal, please. Blackie, confound your lazy heart. Have you saddled Blackie? I'm just practically getting ready to start. I was. Did you hear me tell you to get Chuck ready, little Lily? Yes, it is. The boy's coming home. Why, uh, well, I don't know. Uh, go on now. Oh, hello, Miss Rose. Y'all still standing out here? Go on, Cookie. Yes. Rose. Yes, Dad, here I am. Still hopeful that the boys will be back, ain't you? Oh. Uh, come on, daughter, it's no use. But, Dad, I can't believe that. It just can't end this way. They've got to come back. Well, we might as well face the facts, Rose. If Alabama and the boys did meet up with the cattle thieves, there was only one thing that was bound to follow, a gun battle. I know, but they might have won out. Yes, they might have won out. 
They all may be fighting there for me and for my herd. I didn't want them to go. But, Dad, it's Alabama that worries me. I just can't believe that... Well, of course, Bradford warned us, Rose, that we might be disappointed. And, oh, I... Well, there was Alabama and Danville drunk when everything I had depended on his being here at the Red Horse protecting that herd. Dad, I feel, oh, almost ashamed of myself for the way I acted toward Alabama when he got back. You did right, Rose. He was gone all night, wasn't he? Oh, I know. Showed up here the next day, showing the effects of drinking. Neither he nor Tenderfoot denied that he was in the Danville Saloon. Yeah, Bradford was right. But, Dad, you just can't say that Alabama's not loyal to you. Why, even after you told him to leave, he went ahead and he's risking his life now to prove that he wants to fight for Rose, you. Rose, there's nothing that I... That would mean more to me than to feel a way that you do about Alabama. And, Dad, all the boys stood by him. Oh, oh, Dad, there's Steve. Whoa. I'm so glad he came over. Hello, Steve. Well, hello, Rose. Oh, hello, Miss Carter. Well, have you heard anything from Alabama and the boys? No, Steve. And we're nearly crazy with worry. Oh, it seems so terrible to just sit here and not do anything about it. Well, those rustlers could have got a long ways away with those cattle by this time. I'm afraid to think what might have happened if there'd been a gun battle. Well, Mr. Carter, I just thought I'd come over and show you I'm still anxious to help you. There's still a chance for us to make a deal. You mean uh, you're still willing to take over the Red Horse Ranch? Yes, exactly. Some folks might think it was bad business, but, well, there's nothing I wouldn't do for a good friend like you, Oh, Mr. Dad, Carter. I guess there's nothing I can do out here. I think I'll go in and see how Cookie's coming along with supper. All right, Rose. Now, uh, Bradford, I believe I'm ready to talk business. Cookie, Dad's expecting you to have supper ready before long. Yes, sir. Chuck's practically ready right now. Oh, I, I don't suppose there's any hurry with just us. Now, you listen here, Miss Rose. They's all coming back with Mr. Alabama riding after them sneaking cattle thieves. He'll get them. Oh, I hope you're right, Cookie. Oh, that's pretty. Go ahead and play it, Cookie. Yes, Miss Rose, you lay down dozy. Mm -hmm. Oh, slow up, doggies, quit your roving round. You've won. And trampled all over the ground. Oh, graze along doggies and feed kind of slow. And don't be forever on the go. Move slow, doggies. Move slow Oh, lay still, doggies Since you have laid down Stretch away out On the big open ground Cry loud, little doggies and drown the wild sound that'll go away when the day rolls round. Lay down, doggies, lay down. Rose, oh Rose. Oh, there's Dad calling me. Yes, Dad, I'm coming. And yeah, now, you get ready to go to town, Rose. Well, why, Dad, we can't go to town. Why, what if the boys come? No need of expecting them any longer, Rose. 
We're driving to town and settle up this deal with Bradford right now. Oh, Dad, let's wait just a little longer. Oh, it seems so terrible to leave the ranch now. I know, Rose. It's, it's hard for me, too. Oh, but, Dad, what would we do? Oh, why, this has been my home all my life. I know, I know. I, I wouldn't have had this happen to you for anything in the world. Well, Mr. Carter, uh, I don't think you'll have to worry about Rose... I'll take care of her. All right, Dad. I'll go and get my hat and be with you in a minute. I'll go around and hitch up the buckboard, and uh, you'll have to excuse us, Steve. This has been a hard fight. Yes, I know, Mr. Carter. You've had a lot of tough breaks. Well, I'll get the buckboard hitched up. Now, there, there. <laughs> now, don't cry, Rose. I want you to know that this is going to be your home as long as you live. You'll have it. Oh, Steve. It just doesn't seem possible. I thought sure Alabama would bring them back. Why? Why, I wonder. Why, what is that rumbling? Why? Why, I hear it too. Oh, Steve, do you, do you suppose? Well, Steve, where are you going? Rose! Rose! Dad! Rose, come Dad, here. what is it? What hey, is look, it? Look! Look down there! Those cattle, hundreds of them. Oh, Dad! Dad, it is the boys! They did come oh, back! Yes! They're driving every long horn in the red horn. Get along, little dokies. You know that Wyoming will be your new home. As I was walking one morning for pleasure, I spied a cow puncher a riding along. His hat was all back and his spurs was a jingling. And as he approached me, he was singing this song. You could die, I Get along, little dokies. It's your misfortune and not my own. And bob off their tails We round up our horses Load up the chuck wagon And then throw the donkeys Out onto the train yip ty i o Get along, little donkeys It's your misfortune And none of my own yip ty i o Get along, little donkeys You know that Wyoming Will be your new home Oh, you'll be sued For Uncle Sam's engines It's deep, deep, deep I hear them cry, get along, get along, get along, little donkeys, and you'll be beasted by and by. yip a tie i yo get along, little donkeys, it's your misfortune and none of my own. yip a tie i yo get along, little donkeys, you know that Wyoming will be your new So Alabama and the boys returned with all the original Red Horse herd. Perhaps that will keep Carter from selling to Bradford. Or do you think Steve will find yet another way to keep the upper hand? 